city of Jacksonville says it is ending negotiations with the developer of the Lower Street Trio, meaning redeveloping that area in downtown Jacksonville does not have a path forward right now. News for Jacks reporter Aaron Farrar joins us live. And Aaron, the city says it is planning to refile a lawsuit against the owner of the trio and the development group. And it's a foreclosure lawsuit that was actually dismissed by the city back in September when it seemed like the city and the developer would be able to reach an agreement to proceed with the project. But then, as we've seen now, things have fallen apart again. What's interesting is right across the street where all this would be happening, you see the buildings there, but I want to point and pay attention to the banners that surround the area. You see what the project would look like, but then to the right, it says, coming soon, the Laura Trio. So now it appears it's not coming soon, and it might be coming never. According to the Jack's Daily Record, that foreclosure lawsuit originally was filed in August before being dismissed, and it said that Southeast Development Group owes the city $800,000 in unpaid fines for municipal code violations. Both sides accused each other of negotiating in bad faith. The city dismissed it after a different Jacksonville co contracting firm joined in on the negotiations, which ended up sparking the possibility that a deal could be reached. Here's a view of the three buildings. Steve Atkins bought them back in 2013 with hopes of redeveloping all of them that would end up providing uh, something different to the city. These buildings have been long neglected. The plans included a four-star hotel, close to 170 apartments, a restaurant, a bar, and other entertainment spaces. The proposed plan would have cost more than $188 million, and the expectation was that it could have been completed within two years. For context, though, the trio includes the First National Bank Building, Bisbee Building, and Florida Life Building. They were all built between 1902 and 1912. They are among some of the last unrestored structures built during the years immediately following that 1901 fire that destroyed much of downtown. As we're giving you another live look this morning, again, it looks like that one a uh, phrase on the banner is going to have to be crossed out. There's no telling right now what will end up happening with these buildings now moving forward with this latest development of the city ending negotiations with the current contractor and owner uh, of the Laura Street Trio. We're live in downtown Jacksonville. I'm Aaron Ferrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.